There we go. Yeah. There's the bee. <laughs> you There's have the felt bee. nature was being polluted on the earth and auras were fading. You ask, show me what I need to know. Please guide me to a place of healing and empowerment for myself, others, and our earth. Well, that night, you travel to the four directions to meet the magical storytellers and they share magic words for action. Star Child first traveled to the South Sun Portal, which has a platonic cube where the Gratitude Storyteller lives. The Gratitude Storyteller says, You must say the magic words. I and gratitude are one. I love gratitude. I will take gratitude action for myself and the earth. Star Child travels next to the West Moon Portal, which has an Ikosakitra, where the kindness storyteller lives. Kindness storyteller says the magic words. I and kindness are one. I love kindness. I will take kindness action for myself and the earth. Star Child travels further to the northern portal of the moon, which has an octahedron where the Peace Storyteller lives. The Peace Storyteller says the magical words. I and peace are one. I love peace. I will take peace action for myself and the earth. Star Child travels to the eastern portal of the sun, which has a tetrahedron where the creativity storyteller lives. The creativity storyteller says, what exists in the galaxy exists in the solar system and on the earth and all living things. Both the macro of outer space and the micro are the same. The magical words are, I and creativity are one. I love creativity. I will take creative action for myself and the earth. The last place the star child travels to is to the center of the medicine wheel, the portal of the dodecahedron. Here there are butterflies. You see the transformation storyteller. She says the magical words. I and transformation are one. I love transformation. I will take transformation action for myself and for the earth. In celebration, people are doing actions to help each other and the world heal. Many do practical things to help their environment. There are more healing dreams, kindness to each other, gratitude for all living things, creativity and peace. A rainbow of light signals the unity of all people, all life and nature. All is well and all is healthy again and so it was meant to be. Thank you so much. Um, it, it, a lot of the, it, the, the work behind this was from 
Julian, and uh, made many, many uh, months of work. It looks pretty simple right now, but 30 minutes. But how many months did it take? We started in November and ended in, what, April? <laughs> From yeah, April. <laughs> Quite a few months. <laughs> Quite a few months. Um, it, that... It's all about collaboration, really. Uh, I was able to uh, use this skill that I have with 3D and actually bring all the aspects of uh, Bella's artwork and the music that also uh, Strappy, Strappy did for us. And it's just a collection of those things. So I think what's important is to keep working on this kind of spaces, this kind of uh, projects, and that inter interaction will create that, like will we'll make this uh, dreams happen. And I had that experience with actually both uh, projects, the uh, animation on the project with Harlan. It was just all about collaboration. Right. That's a really good point, Julian, because uh, I think that um, for me, collaboration in this project was ha what made it happen. I mean, for instance, uh, Freeman happens to be here, so I'm going oh, yes. to mention this, but uh, I mean, without his technical knowledge of how to make my voice sound so good, <laughs> I don't think it would have been the same. No. Oh, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, I mean, he worked the dials. He worked the dials. <laughs> you know, somebody asked the I Am Peace um, event that's happening now in Colombo. I just wanted to mention a little bit about it. It's uh, a short film forum, and it's going to be showing the Star Galaxy for the world. And um, Star Galaxy for the world is one of about 30 films that are going to be shown. Um, and their whole mandate is, they say, the I Am Short Film Forum will highlight critical activism, youth voice, innovative solutions, and creative social partnerships that will work towards a thriving culture of peace in daily life. So it's a very beautiful um, intention of the festival. And it's really cool that they've got so many different films involved from so many different facets of life. Um, their logo is this wonderful peace dial, which I love because it's like a, Did you see that? Oh, here, it, now, yeah, now Julian's got this up there helping to see it. Those are some of the people involved. This woman here uh, is a, I talked with her just today, actually. Her name is Kasha, and she's a, a incredible youth activist who started doing filming when she was only 16 years old and and uh, she created a film called sunshine storyteller and it's being shown at this festival and it's all about how people really should take action which is interesting because our film is about taking peace action to Try this act. Well, she says people in the community should take action. And she's now working on another film. Um, she's just quite chatting with me about it today, actually. Um, I think she's actually completed the film or is in the works, but it's about how she believes that the whole issue of peace is connected to climate change because she said if there wasn't all the money spent on war and the weapons and creating those weapons and all the pollution that goes with it, we would have money to put towards a lot of other things. So she, she sort of a, does, does a parallel between the two, which is really interesting. And uh, I think that she's one of the major youth voices at this event, actually. And um, then, of course, there's all the activists, and they, there's a lot of different films that are on everything from nuclear and how that affects the world and here's some of the films being shown Diana was actually one of our uh, cohort members at uh, 
the Design Science Studio, and she's done a beautiful film on how you need to have inner peace and go inside yourself and feel the peace uh, is all part of what peace is about. And that's one of the reasons I actually included peace as one of the main uh, focuses on, on Star Galaxy. Um, but she's got a film, uh, it's a beautiful film that she's gonna be shown at the event, which shows what you need to do to breathe the peace in you, breathe out, and it's sort of like a big wave going on. It's quite very beautiful. I was looking at it just uh, yesterday. I did a, uh, a Topia site for her on her work because I really think her work is something fantastic and I'm so glad that it's been shown at this event. And then there's also, I just to go up, that, up there just for a minute uh, again, back up. See, there's a message from the Kogi tribe. The Kogi tribe, of course, are the people way up in the mountains that knew that the world was uh, polluted and they tried desperately to leave messages in the 1980s and people thought they were crazy and were you know it, it was a quite a process of them finally getting acknowledgement that they really knew what they were talking about and one of the film youth health champions is neat because part of the mandate of the of the this festival of this forum is medicine it's it's the medicine department at the university or the technical school the i guess it's university after medicine uh, philosophy social science and law so there's different aspects to uh, to what is going on yeah anyways social impact impact is big and then there's the whole healing aspect. There's, I find it really interesting. There's this spontaneous painting video. You'll have to look at the link that we've got. Yeah, we've got a link in the uh, chat, which is, shows a link that mm -hmm. you can actually look at some of these films. Uh, but the spontaneous painting thing, I think, Alicia would really appreciate it because Susan Bellow goes into how to go into an inner space in yourself where you have nothing in your mind ahead of time and you start painting you can go to a very deep place that's a connection to you know a higher realm and um, so she they go really into it I, I think they're actually I didn't quite figure out whether she's from Italy or France but she's uh, got this incredible spontaneous painting method that she teaches people and another artist actually is this peace angel. Project considering that Alicia and I talked about the <laughs> inner city angels, which she was for she was for 40 years. Um, this woman, Lee uh, Vola, creates these incredible statues that are um, one of them is apparently 30 feet tall and they're made from weapons that have been confiscated and the metal has been used to create these incredible big uh, 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 bronze and metal sculptures and she's done them for many many years and is very famous in the film is about them and um, Then there is uh, another film, I'm not, not, not shown on here, but um, maybe it's on the next, maybe it's in the next section, give this a chance. Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, this Universal Peace Sanctuary is a fascinating film that is about uh, Shalapa Tenzin Rinpoche, who actually has created this, or is creating, I think, of raising funds right now for a Universal Peace Sanctuary. And the design of it is just astounding when you see it, you can hardly believe it. And there, it's going to be housing all sorts of peace knowledge from many peoples, including the Tibetans, which he is Tibetan, and the Nepalese actually, it's created in Nepal, but there's a lot of Tibetan knowledge involved in it. And it's going to be a place where people can go and feel the peace of that.
Um, and the peace education for a peaceful Cameroon, that's sort of a social, uh, one of the, the, when they say that it's, it's social interaction, this is certainly social interaction because the peace uh, event that's going on in Colombo has also taken place in other places in the world. And every year it's in a different place in the world. It happens to be Colombo this year, which is amazing, but that's where Julian is from. But it was, in other places, and it probably was in Cameroon because they have this whole peace education program now in Cameroon, China. Go into the schools, well, they go into the schools and they actually teach the children that peace is so important. And we've got this. done in understanding the things uh, going on in the sea, like the whales and sea creatures and so on. And the story is about how she actually was saved by a whale. Uh, because when she was deep sea diving, a tiger shark, a huge tiger shark came along and the whale saved her. They actually put, the whale ended up putting her on the head of the, himself to take her out away from the tiger shark. So her life was saved and she discovered and knows because she works with the sea creatures that in fact, whales are supposed to be more empathetic to other beings and even humans. And so there's that whole empathy thing that is really something. Uh, These are just a few of the films that are the many films that were sh are shown. That's the picture from Spontaneous painting. This is the spontaneous painting from you can actually go in there and see that. There. And a few of the trailers for other people. Well, this admissions is all about um, forgiveness. <laughs> Star Galaxy for the world. Yay! <laughs> Thank you, Julia. So you can go into this site and we put it on the chat. And you can actually see like the Sunrise Storyteller Patches film, you can see the other films. A little bit of a trailer, which is kind of fun. And um, there's Diana who did Breathe, uh, the Breathe Peace film. Uh, these are some of the people that are sponsoring it because of course you can't have an event like this without these incredible sponsors who are helping to make it possible. And the event itself goes on for um, four days, Monday through Friday. Um, and um, I have um, a little bit printed up about the agenda, but you can look at that because we put the link to that also, and it tells the different things. That, it's fascinating that they're going into a lot of different topics because it does involve so many different departments. In the names of some of the filmmakers, uh, they're considered the change makers. It's incredible, mm -hmm. the peace influencers of today. And Julian Anjad, his name is on that list. The moderator for this event is actually someone that we worked with also last year, uh, Gil, Gil Agnew, who's the moderator. And he is in Colombia right now being the moderator for the whole thing. Um, Anyways, the piece themes that they go into over the program, I'll just mention it briefly and you can look at it in more detail. Things like building cultures. What is the, the building of a culture of peace? Um, and education, of course, and uh, the Cameroon film really shows that human rights, justice, sovereignty, uh, conflict resolution, environment, diversity. These are all workshops going on uh, and different people that are involved and bioethics, social movement, communication, peace, 
and then coming up with a future plan for peace. And this will be an annual event. Um, anyways, that's just a little bit about it um, that I know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, thank you for that uh, comment, uh, John, about the animation. Really appreciate that. Would anybody else like to share their comments or have any ideas of how to share this work further? Stand or our journey better and all of that. I think it's just so amazing. So thank you, Julian, for bringing more life into Della's work. And that's all I have to say. I want to be a, a moral supporter, but also um, share this at least with my friends on social media to help them know this is going on. So I, yeah, thank you, Andrea. I really appreciate that. It's, it's nice to get the appreciation, you know, uh, when you work so hard on something. And I think I, I was talking to another artist just today, Gaia. Her name is Gaia, and she does these paintings. She's from Montreal. She's originally from Paris, but she so said the same thing to me. She said, I want my paintings animated. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's, it's collaboration for sure. And I was talking with Struppi uh, yesterday in Germany and he was did the music for the uh, uh, animation. And he was sorry he couldn't be here today because he it's, it's two in the morning in Germany right now and wasn't sure he'd get up in time. But, um, but that was another collaboration that was magic, wasn't it, Julian? Maybe you can speak on it, how it all happened with uh, Struppi. Yeah, he, he knows a lot about uh, shape and shaping nature and all that, but it's also a musician. So he has a different approach to uh, the whole thing of uh, creation. And uh, he had like many different instruments from around the world as he's more like a performer. And then we just, we were just going over uh, different parts of the animation. And he was just like picking different instruments and just playing. It was really easy, like organic. I guess also the, the kind of music that he does is really fluid and really soft. So it kind of just landed really perfectly on the animation. And uh, also the characters the, of the instruments that he has kind of align with some of the uh, uh, characters of the story. So yeah, I think it was just great. It was really like I will say organic because uh, it was just like in a few weeks that we put together the music it's probably two weeks and then some some anything but it was pretty organic I'll say yeah it was it, and it's pretty much the same with with Della's uh, artwork and also Dell's which mm -hmm. we use for backgrounds and everything it was really easy to make them work together you did was involved and thank you all of you for coming and hearing a little bit more about this. Anybody that's got ideas on how this um, can be taken further and shared in a larger Claire. scale. Claire has something to share. Hmm? Claire? Yes. Yeah, hi, thank you. Hang on, I'll just shut my drawer a little. Um, when I was watching the film, the animation, hi Della. Hi, Claire. I, I was reminded how peaceful it makes me feel to to see that film and and I I find something is kind of inside the envelope of the voice itself that carries the message of peace um, as a vibration and so when I was watching it this time I sort of spontaneously wrote a poem because, yeah because of watching it and I'd like to share it with you Great. Yeah, great. Right. Sure. Thank you. Um, I guess it's called There is a Fabric. There is a fabric weaving itself into being. There's a fabric weaving itself into being. It changes. It becomes. It unravels as it ravels. Becoming and unbecoming, in and out of being, peace in being. 
the unbecoming, the becoming waiting to be noticed. Become, 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 and shine in relationship with the becoming. So that's that's what came to, to me <laughs> watching your beautiful film. Excellent. Thank you so much. That was beautiful. Oh. That was a cherry on beautiful. the top. Cherry <laughs> <laughs> on the top. Yeah. Definitely. This presentation between the visual aspect of, yeah. of what's presented in front of you and the auditory aspect at the same time just seems to meld together and present the story. Yeah. I, you know? I have the same sense of it because I think that's the very first line that came to me through me. There is a fabric weaving itself into being. Mm -hmm. It's like that. It, it is those two elements doing a beautiful, beautiful dance to bring that message forward through itself. That one knew what you wanted to do with it anyhow, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no. Uh, uh, yeah. That, that recording uh, was actually the base for the whole uh, edition process. Uh, it was. It's. It doesn't have any cuts at all. The recording. It's just the way it was uh, constructed. Okay. So through that, we work the other pieces, and that's why it feels also like more uh, fluid. But yeah, the, the recording was just excellent, and the voice, of course, the way that the uh, your collaboration. With this film, Julian, is going to make me get more dreams. <laughs> Gives, giving you the inside track to yourself. Yeah, exactly. That's it. That's no doubt. Yeah. Anyways, I want to thank Julian for be doing this film. I want to thank uh, Freeman for doing the tech for the voiceover. I want to thank Gail who's here and doing some of the art for the film. And thank all of you that have come to share this with us. All each one of you in your own way has been so special in our lives and. And it's interesting how people that are special in your life will turn up again 20 years later, 30 years later, 40 years later. There they are. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Blessings to everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Della. Thank you. Thank you, Della. Thanks, Della. Thank you. Bye.